Good morning. So it is 10 a.m. That's when my Goodwill's open. So I'm here at the first stop, going to check it out, see what I can find. I do plan on going to a couple of places today. It is like a full day of sourcing versus every day I do go in um, at least one or two places quickly and try to find a couple things. But I always start right here at the hats because they're at the beginning and I see if there's you know, anything that's priced well because they have been pricing their hats more expensive. Today is orange tag, which means it's 50% off this week. So I do pick that beanie up. It's a little Budweiser beanie and it's for a dollar and change. Cowboy hats I look at all the time because I live in Texas. We find tons of cowboy hats and cowboy boots. They are usually priced up a good bit. And I don't necessarily mess with cowboy hats unless they're going to bring a really big return because they are a lot of work to ship and I do have to have specific boxes for them. These bags here are their designer bags, Coach, Dunienberg, um, more expensive, but they're always frayed. You can see right there, they always have some sort of flaw to them and they start off at $25 minimum and it's not worth it for the type of damage they have. I love looking at the men's graphic tees section because the men's graphic tees, they usually price at $3.29, which is a fair price. They used to be $2.49, which I loved that a lot more, obviously. Um, but I start off with these end aisles at the end cap aisles because normally this is where people have something good and then they decide not to take it, so they throw it there. Or the employees don't have room and they're trying to unload you know their new rack of clothing so they just put them there on the end cap so I tend to always find you know one or two pretty solid pieces here on the end so I start there to make it easy whether it's men's or women's I like starting at the larger sizes first and then I work my way down because those are the sizes that have the smallest selection and they're usually the sizes that sell the quickest and are the most desirable for me on any platform so I come over here and I start, this is the 3X. Um, of course, there is a nice size small orange tag t-shirt in the 3X category, but I will start right here. And then I'm going to just show you guys some kind of sped up clips of what I'm looking for and the kind of stuff that I like so that y'all can see a little overview of what my Goodwills have to offer. You're sick of my madness. Don't you tell me what I supposed to do You're better off without me Don't you tell me what I supposed to do When I'm walking on the streets half naked It's part of me, it's part of me When I'm making my prank makeup It's part of me, it's part of me When you're crushing all my dreams and you're making me so fool Get out of my life I know what I, I know what I'm supposed to do When you're crushing all my dreams and you're making me so fool <laughs> I know what I, and uh, you know, I'm gonna I send this to, do. to a buddy of mine. Y'all may know him, you may not. If you don't know him, go give him a follow and tell him, go Cowboys. <laughs> Thank you. I know what I'm supposed to do. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Oh, it's a size 2X. Regular t shirt price. I don't know oh, what we'll to do. See, that's I can't tell from my excitement with the wind right there. And it's a good size. So, living in Texas, I do come across a lot of gun t shirts. I will only pick up ones that are branded as Smith & Wesson, Glock, or maybe they're geared to do. around hunting, but ones that are just trying to show off for the quote-unquote queen quote factor, I definitely do that. Now I did pick up that pumpkin pie cool whip pumpkin graphic tee because that makes me happy. I love it. <laughs> just found another one, Detective Pikachu. I like this one. I want an extra large. That's, I might have to support that one for a little bit before selling it. 
I really love finding this brand. This is The Mountain. They make really They're cool graphic tees that gear around, around animals, free, nature. Some can be worth a lot of money, especially if you find some really cool vintage pieces. This is a rare style. That octopus I had never seen before, so I thought that was a really big find. But what I do in this section here is that I go through and kind of just look at the print or the pattern. I'm looking for athletic pieces, so like that dry fit kind of material to see if maybe I can find a Lululemon or a Peloton um, or really nice Nike then I am still looking for the tie-dye look that the mountain has because this thrift store usually pulls out a lot of mountains so that's a very unique tie-dye look so I'm kind of just scanning now I used to pick up Marvel pieces like this you don't see a whole lot of Thanos if I found this at a yard sale for a dollar I would pick it up I do end up putting that back I was thinking about it because it's Thanos and because it was a larger size. However, I stopped picking this stuff up for more than a dollar because it doesn't really sell for a whole lot. Um, this Timberland graphic tee, I was going to debate on this one because it was an orange tag, half price, but there was a hole in it so I just put that back. I know Timberland boots do really well. The clothing, eh, you know, hit or miss. So I'm still scanning through the same aisle. I find some Bucky's. If y'all aren't familiar with Bucky's, it's a huge, huge, huge gas station convenience store. But look, here I see another print of the mountain, and yes, it is. This is a full dog Rottweiler graphic. So another really good find for me. For these, I will pick them up as long as they're under five dollars all day, because they usually sell for a minimum of twenty bucks. Now on whatnot, of course, that varies. Oh. Shout out the Nashville Flippers! What? I don't see too many goofy movie shirts. Alright, we're leaving the men's section. That is the women's section right there. Before I go through that way, my next... It's kind of a nice jacket. Um, okay, so what I go to next is I come... Here's their shoes, there's glass, mugs, plateware. Tons of DVDs and VHSs all here. That's where they bring out those two little carts are new. But I come down here. Flash! I always look for Pokemon. Always. And look at this one's cool. Nine dollars though. Look at that. Nine dollars. That's crazy. I always look for Squishmallows. Uh, preferably with tag, but they've been pricing them up. Six dollars is just too much. But sometimes I'll hold on to these and I'll do a quick scan because I don't know like which ones are really worth it. And just to make sure I'm not passing up one that's super valuable. <laughs> there we go. Million of millions of dollars right here. Ooh. Just kidding, you guys. Just kidding. I don't know. Maybe, maybe some of them could be. I have no idea. Hey, these have the little casings and stuff. Oh my gosh, why does that make me kind of tempted to pick them up? Oh, I'm kind of tempted to pick them up. I just made fun of them. But somebody donated their collection. <laughs> Look at them. Man, this is a bunch. <sighs> just say no, Jennifer. Just say no. Let me see, let me see. Ooh, but look at this guy. I love the Joker. This is where two bucks, <laughs> you know, people say, don't go with your gut, don't buy what you like. And I definitely agree, but do as I say and not as I do kind of a thing because I can't help it. I just like that. This is, see, why is this one $3.99? They definitely price stuff all sorts of different prices, but I might still get that one. I don't know. $3.99 might be too much. But $3.99 probably is too much. I should just put it back. But I can't help myself but to enjoy it at least for a little while and pretend like I'm going to get it even though I end up putting half of my cart away. Why does she look kind of familiar? No, I don't know. Alright, well that's about all that I saw. Ryan's World. Ryan's World. It's Ryan's World. It looks like Ikea. Mm. Am I missing anything cool? Yeah, let me know if you think I'm missing anything cool. 
I think this is a new one though, right? Uh, 2022. How much do they want for that? Four dollars. Nope. Here's the toy section. I just skimmed through this. I never really dig into this section. I just stand back like this and I browse and I see if anything catches my eye. Of course, I look for that nice little classic Pokeball symbol. Otherwise, I don't really look for anything in particular. Just a glance. Okay, so now that we're finished with this section, right here are books. Oh, I just seen this purse. It's got an orange tag. Oh, that's kind of cool. I love that big rhinestone skull. It's a little bit rough. Nothing a lighter can't take care of. Here's the inside. I kind of like this one. I think this is a decent bag. They price their bags up so much nowadays. That's nice. Just kind of hanging out on the side. Oh, look what else is just hanging out there. Look at that. Oh, this has got to be up somebody's alley, right? See, that one's $7.49 for its regular price. I don't know. I might do a quick scan for this one. Oh, this one has... See that? This one is actually Marilyn Monroe branded. Hmm. We'll see. That's pretty cool. I like this. This section here, where they throw golf clubs, miscellaneous random stuff, some chairs, some larger things, this bags. I don't really mess with this stuff. I like to find my clubs from golfers who switch their clubs out very frequently to where they're like new or hardly played with and thrift stores never really seem to have those so I just kind of stopped wasting my time. Well let's look at the purses. There's a little close up. There's a little traffic jam right here because there's some new carts out. Um, after I look at, oh that cat purse is nice. What is that? $4.49. It's kind of cool. So this is pretty cool, but it's pretty cheap. I think it, somebody made it maybe. Like this seems like a good material, but it's not in the best shape. Um, so I'm just going to leave it, I think. I'm going to do a quick Google Lens scan before I put it back just to make sure. But it doesn't look good. Ooh, what is this? A little sexy sexy. I always see if these are vintage Victoria's Secret or Shirley or Hollywood. I don't know. Probably was very expensive. But it doesn't even have a price tag on it, so I'm not going to bother with asking. I love looking at the stuff on the end caps, you guys, because a lot of the times this is where people put their stuff back, or if the workers are just trying to hurry up and finish, they just throw their items there. Well, I kind of like that one. Poor shirt, let's run over. that one probably probably will get that one it is hard to focus just on one area at a time when I see certain colors or pieces like this is really cool loft is not the best brand it's not the worst either I don't really pick it up this is seasonal but it's too much if it was orange maybe because I would get it for half I randomly just found these two. This is a Michael Kors size large. It's six dollars. 
Michael Kors used to do very well for me on whatnot. Now it seems like only if it has like MK related hardware and usually plus size. This one's a size large, so I don't know. I'm gonna think about that. This is a Victoria's Secret vent. Oh, I just saw it right here. You see that? You see how you can see through? This one has a rip. It looks repairable, but I was already on the fence, so I'm gonna leave it. Victoria's Secret size small. Um, again, this one was $6. Decently nice pickup, but you see it's dirty up there, or even, yeah, I think that's dirty. And then with the tear, so we're gonna leave this one. Um, Otherwise, I, I don't know. I, I'm in between with the gold label Victoria's Secret sometimes. Now this is nice. This is an umji. All the dresses start off at $8.79, which is not bad. It just depends. Sometimes I can find nice pieces. This one's actually very pretty, nice little boho. Umji is a really nice boho brand that has good pool on whatnot, or decent pool, decent pool on whatnot. This is an ideal dress. This is perfect. It's beautiful. The thing with me is it's almost $9 and it's a size small. If it were a plus size, I would most likely throw it in my cart right away or if it were half price or if it were new with tags. So it doesn't really have anything other than the style and the brand for me, but I'm gonna think about this one. I might leave this one behind. Okay, so I speed up my clip here kind of going through. I just wanna show you all maybe what I look for, how I look. I do focus a lot on the pattern and print, what I can see maybe from the bottom. Specifically right now, it is summertime, I'm sourcing for summer dresses, maxi dresses, long jumpsuits, rompers, anything like that with a lot of vibrant, beautiful color. Um, so that's what I'm showing down here at the bottom. But in between, I also do split some of the dresses and kind of just check every now and then to see if I may be missing something interesting. Of course, anything new with tags, I keep an eye out for. The dresses are all priced generally at $8.49. I don't really like to spend that price unless I'm pretty confident that the dress is going to sell no less than $25 on whatnot. Um, or if it's brand new with tags and I know that if I try to sell it high on whatnot and it doesn't sell, I can list and sell it for $40, $50 on eBay, but the $40, $50 is really my price range that I'm looking to sell dresses for if I'm going to pay almost $9. Um, so I do look at some of these, like this 9 West, new with tags. It is very pretty, the colors right on, but the style is a little bit outdated. I've kind of stopped picking up career dress styles, professional office. That doesn't seem to be very trendy. Even people who are going into work nowadays, they're dressing very casual, um, maybe a blazer here and there, but a little bit more comfort leggings, casual shirt. They're not really wearing as many dresses and high heels. That's what I've noticed. So doing a quick scan, I'm not really finding a whole lot. Now this band of Gypsy's jumpsuit, this was pretty cool, definitely kind of what I'm looking for. It was a cropped length jumpsuit, the full length pantsuits do a little bit better, but it was a size extra small, it was pre-owned, and again it was almost $9, so I still decided to pass on that. If it had been an orange tag, I would have picked it up. Okay, you guys, I'm pretty sure I did not miss this. So I came by to put that Yoda plush up because that wasn't worth it. And right there, look at that. Now this is freaking badass. $8.49 though. What are they doing to me? Goodwill, what are you doing to me? Like in the day, this would have been $3.99. Even $4.99, been like, all right, whatever. Solid $5 bill, that's fair. This is pretty cool though. Um, it really leads me to believe that they're pricing certain stuff, that they're actually like looking up comps and things like that. Uh, because Gengar, this is Gengar, for anybody who doesn't know, this is a Pokemon plush, and Gengar is very um, desirable. I decided to leave this behind because it was really damaged, but here are some comps. It was actually a pretty cool print and bag, uh, so normally I would have picked it up, but it just had too many flaws. Alright, Goodwill number two. This is stop three of the day, technically. I didn't film. I went to 25 cent day this morning at 7 a.m., um, and then it was after that that I realized, you know what, let me film and make a video for the YouTube. But, cheers to Dad. Thank you, Dad, for, uh, I stopped by his house for a few minutes and uh, stole this out of the fridge. <laughs> Just what the doctor ordered. So let's see if we can find anything else um, at Goodwill number two. 
All right, y'all. So I actually am making this into a part two continuation video. The first portion was way too long and my editing skills are not up to par. So I could not edit down any lower than 20 minute time frame. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the first part. Stay tuned for the second part. If you're not following already, please consider subscribing, hitting a thumbs up, the like, comment, all the things that you may want to do that may help this YouTube algorithm that may or may not exist Thank you all for watching. Bye.